Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. The day your biological father looks at you and says, "All you know is church. You are a useless young man." I had confidence in you, thinking you are the one who will lift this family. I hear there was an opportunity to pay five million for something. There was an opportunity to reduce your age by 10 years and you would have gotten a job and you brought this your church stupidity that is the day you can see the semblance of profit in evil and you will be angry the day somebody looks at you and says you would have married by now young lady sit down there and keep saying i'm a child of god i am a deborah i am an esther you and and and, and you will sit down there and be angry there are times when godliness looks like a burden. Let me tell you sincerely. I've had the honor to pray over men of God and they just come and say, Apostle, you are lucky. Ministry is working. I've been in this city for a long time to an extent that my wife asked me if you are really called. Wife not strangers strangers can talk nonsense but when your wife says sorry my husband don't be offended let's verify whether we are called so that we'll stop wasting our time let me tell you something about men he will not say anything he will just stand up in the night and be walking around his living room and say lord so this is how you chose i was a sinner and i was doing well i gave my life to you this is what you are doing with my life now is this what you do with people who give their lives to you In Jeremiah 17 from verse 9 and 10, the Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked, that it is deceitful above all things who can know it. This is God speaking about the state of man. There is jealousy locked up in your heart. There is anger locked up in your heart. Just because it has not manifested, I tell you it does not mean it is not there. You will now know the value of coming boldly before the throne of grace. To obtain mercy and help in time of need so that when you spend time worshiping the Lord and you spend time opening up yourself if God tells you young man you have the spirit of mammon you won't sit down and say God when I just do you know some of the calls that God makes to sacrifice maybe give money or sow your car and the rest it is not about the car or money it is these things he's trying to bring out there are times God will say, lock yourself for three days and fast. And it will not even, it, it won't be anything spectacular. And you'll be wondering, Lord, what are you working on? Just leave God with his training on you. He knows what he's pruning. There are times as a man of God, he will close doors of ministry by himself. Three months, nobody inviting you. And you'll be under pressure to show you are still relevant so that nobody will say his oil is going down and you will try to manipulate invitations whereas those three months were god's window of opportunity for you to find him genuinely because the next level you are stepping into the temptations and the trouble that will fight your anointing you do not yet have the grace for it you know many people just stand to say god told he raised me for a generation a generation ask the presidents of many nations have you seen how old the presidents of many nations become within four years it is said that the presidents and leaders of nations age almost twice their normal time within their tenure as presidents i've had the honor and the privilege of speaking with a few and I can tell you some of them are in a hurry to go away. When I go for meetings, most times when I'm coming in, maybe the cars, the convoy is bringing me or something. And usually protocol have a way of, you know, just flogging it to people's eyes. Everybody give way, apostle is coming. And most times I'm, I squeeze myself in the midst of all this and people are trying to touch and I'm wondering oh dear I wish these people know what is on this head that they are not seeing hallelujah 
and many people sit down and admire I'm going to be like this it's good to be inspired but let me tell you the truth until you build the stamina and the greatest stamina you need to build is not to get anointing the greatest stamina you need to build is not to cram scriptures so that when you stand on stage you can just speak it the greatest stamina you need is power through God to tame the flesh like a football and keep it there like this at that point God can give you the keys of Africa and say please for the next 10 years moving in Africa you are the one I'm trusting you and he can he knows that you will do that job I have seen the revivals coming I tell you in my visions many times and ladies and gentlemen I submit to you sincerely many people who are standing in expectation to be featured in this revival will be disappointed not because God does not want to use them but the standard of the Lord has a non-negotiable prerequisite and among it is not just prayer for anointing most of our prayer and fasting is centered around demons and anointing in the name of Jesus this spirit has to give way there is a place for that in the name of Jesus Lord my head will not be dry of oil and we can fast dry for one week but let me tell you the nobler cause for fasting is Lord search my heart you are sending me to the nations I do not even know what is within me I do not know the tendencies within me in the presence of fame in the presence of lifting in the presence of infinite possibilities I do not know what is enshrined within my heart so before I become a casualty to myself I pray that you come with that refiner's fire let me show you two scriptures before we wrap up Bazan koma baya Nina Yesune Bazan koma James chapter 4 and verse 8 What is the call tonight and what is the solution? James chapter 4 Please give it to us media very quickly and verse 8 Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you he said cleanse your hands ye sinners and purify your hearts ye double-minded the first call is draw nigh to God not draw nigh to fame not draw nigh to a name not draw nigh to spiritual activities in other words listen take serious your relationship with God it does not just give you value to be relevant it is your system of preservation Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 6 now beckons on us to come boldly. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. To come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. So when you see somebody like Baba Deboe and many of our fathers, you want to talk with them and they will say, come back on Friday. I am alone with God. It does not make sense alone with God looking for what again? And they lock up themselves shut themselves away from any fame and any whatever oh we want to give you an award no I'm not interested I'm spending time with the God of heaven you now know why people seek God passionately they seek God passionately first because they love him but they seek him as life he is literally the basis of survival I belong to Jesus, never going back, never going back. I've heard of many, many pastors that were martyred in the north since when I was in Zaria. I heard of a pastor who was, by the way, I saw the man of God from Adamawa State. May God bless you. They used to bring me many years from Mubi. They, they bring me to Mubi. When there was crisis in Mubi, and you know terrorists came and ravaged that place when the church was about to come back to, uh, together you know they invited me over for a program and such gracious and loving people I, I've, I've seen them kill people a man who told his wife I do not know whether I will survive next week and truly he died it's easy to say may their soul rest in peace but when you stand face to face with what can take your life 
that's when you will know whether you have stamina or not it's not when somebody is on a wheelchair if the person does not get up they will not arrest you you will just say god bless you share up your faith let's see in another meeting save johnny but when you stand before somebody who says jesus or the world not even just death house rent and you can compromise and get your rent in a moment or you can stand for jesus genuinely but there are consequences including driving you from that place and you know most people look at the story of the hebrew boys and just say that um well jesus came read your bible and see those who stood and still died including jesus father take this cup of me the father kept quiet he said nevertheless not my will but yours be done you thought the father would say such humility i've cancelled death he still died i belong to jesus never going back never going back forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire. Be let your mind be holy God's fire